Hello, I'm Miss Jerry, the Chaperone Coordinator here at Nisha's Dance and Music Academy. We're so grateful and thankful that you volunteered to chaperone for this year's dance recital. My goal right now is to give you some tips and information to help make our recital successful for everyone. Right now, what you should do is join the dance that you're chaperoning for. Each week you want to come to the class and usually the last 10 to 15 minutes of the class, the teacher will have you come in so that you can see the order of how the children are walking onto the stage and get you more familiar with the dancers as well. You'll want to learn the dancers' entrances and exits at that time. The teacher will supply you with the lineup list for that particular dance. Make yourself aware of all the rehearsal times and dates. All of that information is on this um, rehearsal schedule that you were given. Make sure you know the call times and the dates for your particular class that you're chaperoning for. You can also see the front desk for the costume sketchbook for all the details that you might need. Make contact with the parents at this time. Let them know you are the chaperone and make them aware of what you need or expect of them, especially those call times. It's studio rehearsal time here at the NDNMA studio. Times will be attached to your child's costume and are also available on the rehearsal schedule. As a chaperone, you want to arrive 30 minutes before your call time and check in with me. I will be located to the left of the customer care desk. You will collect your dancers in the lobby and the NDNMA staff will let you know when it's your time to go backstage. Sometimes we take you back into the hallway a little early. That alleviates a little of the crowding that can happen with so many dancers here for the rehearsal. Pictures will be taken immediately following the rehearsal. You'll want to be aware if there are any dancers that have a quick change that might need to take their individual picture earlier. Ms. Ana Eid or myself will let you know if this is the case for any of your dancers. You will help move the dancers to the photo location. Let parents know that they should remain in the lobby to collect their dancer when finished by the vending room. Know your dancers line up and entrances and exits. Prepare them as you would on the show day. This is especially important for our little ones. This is a great rehearsal for them and it can kind of shake off the nerves a little bit. You wanna keep the dancers focused and ready to listen. On this day, you will also learn which dancers have quick changes. Ms. Ana Eid or myself will go over any details concerning that. Remember, stay calm, focused, and ready to lead. The children feed off of your energy. We are here to support you in any way that you may need. During recital week, make sure that you touch bases with all those parents again. Make sure they understand call times and the drop-off and pick-up schedule. Ask parents to remind their dancer that you are in charge and that they are to stay with you and listen to you while in your care. If you have any questions or concerns about this, please don't hesitate to ask any of the Indian MA staff or the teacher. Ask parents to remind their dancer that you are in charge and they are to stay with you and listen to you while in their care. If you have any questions or concerns about this, please don't hesitate to ask any ND and MA staff members. On our dress rehearsal downtown at the Civic Center, it is important to remember that it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to walk from the parking garage down to the Civic Center. Please make sure to remind parents of this. Chaperones, you are to arrive 30 minutes before dancers and check in at the staff table located in the courtyard on the side of the Civic Center. You'll wait there for your dancers at your designated spot. I'll give you a clipboard with your dancers' names on it. Please make sure that all parents sign in their dancers. Parents will not be allowed to go into the theater to watch their dancers. This is a closed rehearsal. Parents should wait in the designated area to pick up their dancers when we are finished. Dancers are to be dropped off ready in their costumes, hair and makeup done. Should they need to change, please direct them to the ND and MA staff members and we will help them with that. After the rehearsal on stage, you will return with the dancers to the designated area. Please make sure that every dancer is signed out by their parent. 
At this time, you also want to remind parents that if their dancer has a quick change, that they need to turn their costume into the NDNMA staff at this time. Finally, it is show day at the Civic Center. Dancer call time is one o'clock. However, your time, call time is 12 o'clock. Please arrive at the backstage area wearing your uh, lanyard that I gave you the day before. Check in at the staff table. You will be given a new sign-in sign-out sheet and you will be given your dressing room assignment. Your sign-in sheet will indicate any dancers that are being signed in with you and signed out. It'll also show if there are any quick changes. It will indicate it on that sign-in sign-out sheet or it will let you know if a dancer is coming from another dance. All information will be on that clipboard. Never let it out of your sight. You may go in and prepare your dressing room area. There will be a short informational meeting at 1215 in the large dressing room area downstairs. Miss Nisha and the NDNMA staff will give you any last minute tips or changes or any details that may have come up for that day. You will want to be at your check-in location outside at 1245 so that you can start signing in dancers at this time. The show begins right at 2 o'clock and ends at approximately 4.30. Remind parents that dancers are to be picked up immediately following the last dance of the show. No dancer will be released early. This is a huge safety concern as well as a respect issue for all other dancers and audience members. Once the show starts, things move quickly. Remain calm and ready to follow directions. Drop off kids to their next dance or to the quick change room. If you are waiting for any dancers to come out of the quick change room, please wait outside of the quick change room unless they ask for your help. They are very experienced and they have a system of how they handle the quick change room. Please let Miss Nisha or Miss Erica know if you are waiting for a dancer to come out of the quick change room. Make sure that no dancer leaves your care until they have been signed out by parents. This is your most important job. As soon as your last dancer has been signed out, please go back and check in your dressing room area for any lost or forgotten items, and please turn them into the, the NDNMA staff. Finally, I have a few backstage etiquette tips and reminders. Dancers are to remain under your supervision in their assigned area at all times. Every effort is made to allow you to see your dancer on stage. However, your primary responsibility is to the dancers that are assigned to you. Do not keep your dancer with you or follow him or her from their dance to dance or get their hair ready. Um, stay with the group that you are assigned to. Trust in the other chaperones and the quick change volunteers to take care of him or her as you would take care of their child. As dancers arrive to you from other dancers, quickly help them get into their costumes and prepare them for the stage. They need to bring their bag with them from the other dance. Don't leave those items behind. You will be called to get ready to go approximately four numbers prior to your dance. You will then move from the dressing room to the stairs to the green room and then into the hallway. Once you're in the hallway, we can hear everything. So that's an area we need to really keep those tappers quiet as well as our voices. Once you're on the side of the stage, if you still have a dancer in the quick change room, please make sure that you let the teacher know at that time. We will hold the dance for that dancer. Immediately following your dance, chaperones need to be prepared to know, do you have dancers going into the quick change room? Do you have a dancer that needs to go to another dance? Please make sure that you know where that child needs to go immediately following their dance. The receiving chaperone is the one responsible for assisting the child into their costume. Please do not have the child get into their new costume with you. Any dancers remaining with you need to be supervised at all times until they are signed out by their parent. The NDNMA staff will let you know when it is time to leave the theater. Sometimes we exit some of the children early um, just to get them outside and ready to be collected by their parents. 
A few things to have on hand that can make things run a little more smoothly. Blankets to sit on, extra hairpins, rubber bands, hairspray, wet wipes, those kinds of things. I have all of these items in my wagon, but it is helpful if you have a few of those as well. Crackers and water are allowed backstage. Please don't let the children eat food that could potentially stain their costumes or someone else's. We also ask that parents send nut free snacks for everyone's safety. Chaperones are encouraged to talk to each other and work together so that dancers are supervised at all times. We don't want you to miss any of your own dancers' performances. You may touch up a child's makeup, but don't apply makeup to a child that doesn't already have makeup on. The studio rehearsal is Saturday, May 4th and 5th. Please check your rehearsal schedule for specific times for your dance. Our dress rehearsal is downtown at the Civic Center Theater on Saturday, May 25th. Show day is Sunday, May 26th at the Civic Theater. Dancer call time is 1 o'clock. Chaperone call time is 12 o'clock. Should you need anything, please don't hesitate to either text me or call the customer care desk or talk to any ND and MA staff members. One of my favorite parts of chaperoning is being able to see the joy in my daughter's face when she walks off of that stage after performing something she's been working on all year. To see that joy and to be able to share in that moment with her is just priceless. And I'm excited that you're going to have that opportunity as well to see your child, to see that joy, and to be on that journey with your child. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for chaperoning for this year's recital.